In this problem, we are given the following circuit diagram. We are also given this information down here, and we need to use it to find the steady state expression for our V naught T. So when we look at this, we know that our VG is given to us right here. And our VG is going to be 40, because this is our V max, with zero degrees as our phase, because there's no degrees in here. So we can assume that it's zero degrees. Now we know that this voltage and this voltage are going to be the same because they are in parallel. So we'll have a plus, minus, and a V naught here. To solve this from here, we can do a node voltage analysis where we analyze the currents going in and out of this node and set it equal to zero. However, before we do that, we're going to do something that hasn't really been done a lot before in this course, and it's that we need to convert this capacitor and this inductor into the rectangular equation. To do this, we should note that we are looking for the steady state. And in a steady state like this, we know that our omega, which is given right here, is the same throughout all of these. So what we're going to need to do is find our x conductor and our x inductor. And these are going to equal those values. So for our x conductor, we can use a formula in our notes linked below the like button in the description in section VI relationship for a capacitor. And to find our x of C, we're going to use the formula negative J divided by our omega times C. So when we plug in these values, we will have a negative J over our omega, which is 50,000 or five times 10 to the fourth. And we know our capacitance to be one microfarad. And so we can multiply this by 10 to the negative six for a micro. And this is gonna give us negative J divided by 0 0.005, but we can just divide this by one and then we're gonna get 20 times a J and we'll put a negative out front. So this is gonna be the value for our capacitor right here. And we're going to set this equal to negative J 20. And this is our impedance. So it's going to be measured in ohms. Next, we're gonna solve for our XL and this is for our inductor. For an inductor, we are going to have our J times our omega times our inductance. From this, we are gonna get J times five times 10 to the fourth, again, because this is our omega, multiplied by 1.2 then we need to convert millis to just henry, so we're going to multiply this by 10 to the negative cubed. And this is going to give us the value of j times 60. So our inductance is j60. Now since these are all the same kind of type, we can plug this into our formula. First thing we're going to look at is the current going into our node from the left. And from this, we are going to get a v naught minus our vg, which we know to be 40 with our angle of 0 degrees. And this is all happening over our one microfarad, or negative J times 20 ohms. From this, we're going to have a plus, and then we know that our V naught is over our 30 ohm resistor. Next, we have another V naught going out of it, so it's a plus, and this is over our 1.2 millihenry inductor, or J to the 60 ohms. And this is equal to zero. Now before we go any further, I'm going to multiply everything by J times 60 ohms, that way we can simplify the denominator. And remember, when we are multiplying into, especially this part, when we factor in our three, we're just going to have a three times 40. It does not affect our degrees. And then we are going to get this formula. From here, we are going to add our V naughts together. We can only add these two because the other V naught, which is this one, has a J in it. And then we're going to move our 120 with our zero degrees angle to the right side. And from that, we're going to get this equation right here. Now we can divide everything by two and factor out our V naughts. And this is our new equation. Now, all we need to do is take this part and put it in our phase part that, so it'll look something like this and then divide both sides by this. So we get our V naught by itself. So to start this off, we are going to find our VM, and then we're gonna find our theta. We know that our VM is the square root of our real number, negative one squared, plus the square root of our imaginary number, so one. If we do this, we are gonna get the square root of two for our VM. For our theta, we know this is tangent negative one, and then we're gonna have our imaginary number, which is one, divided by our real number, which is negative one. And this is gonna give us the value of negative 45 degrees. And now we can combine these two together and we're gonna get the square root with the angle negative 45 degrees. 
Now, if we combine this with our formula, so we're basically plugging this back in here, we are going to get that we have a V naught is equal to negative 60 with the angle of 0 degrees divided by the square root of 2 with the angle of negative 45 degrees. Now from here, we're going to take these two and divide them. Our real numbers are going to get divided. And then we're going to take our angles and subtract them. We want to subtract the top from the bottom. When we do this, we are going to get that our V naught is equal to approximately 42.4 and then we have the angle of 0 degrees minus a negative 45 degrees or 45 degrees. And that'll be the answer to our problem. So when we plug this in for the actual question, we are going to put a 42.4 here and then our 45 right here. And that's how you would go about solving this problem. If you want more introduction to circuit analysis or capacitors, phasers, voltages, inductance, anything related to circuit analysis. There's over a hundred problems in our playlist and notes for the entire coursework in the description below the like button.